Now, from the nation's capital, here's your Pentagon Channel podcast. Troops in theater face dangers every day that can leave them wounded or even worse. But it's necessary to move equipment, transfer troops, and clear out hazard areas. Petty Officer Andrew Krause traveled to Fort Bliss, Texas, and discovered a new piece of technology that could greatly reduce or even eliminate those dangers in the field. Imagine a vehicle like this carrying special sensors to be able to detect mines or other explosive devices that might be set along a roadside doing a recon ahead of a patrol. Imagine a, a vehicle like this scouting ahead of a, a unit uh, providing overwatch protection, watching critical ambush uh, sites, maybe uh, uh, providing a resupply to, to special forces in the field. In an effort to keep soldiers safe, the Army has developed a new vehicle to pave the way for future troops. The Army teamed up with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to create the Crusher. Actually, Carnegie Mellon University National Robotics Engineering Center built the Crusher, and now they're testing it out in random environments around the country. So, Crusher vehicle was developed to be a, have extreme off-road mobility, to be able to handle a variety of terrain, everything from ditches to steps, sand, soil, forest, and we did that through a combination of uh, large tires, large ground clearance, high suspension travel, and skid steering, which allows it to spin in place and change its direction, and uh, offers great maneuverability in, in cluttered environments. The Crusher is a very complex piece of technology. It can be controlled remotely by a soldier nearby, or from a safe distance, or it can drive itself. To do this, it takes a lot of durable, sophisticated equipment. We have the uh, four uh, long-range uh, stereo cameras that let us see out uh, 60, 70 meters or so in front of the vehicle. We have uh, four uh, laser range finders that measure the shape of the terrain out in front of the vehicle to 20 or 30 uh, meters. On the front of Crusher, we have a very strong bumper so that we can survive impact with uh, trees and rocks and, and uh, other hazards in the environment. Uh, a very durable uh, underbelly so that we can uh, drag the vehicle over rocks uh, and other hazards that are buried in the vegetation. We also have uh, very large tires on Crusher. These are four foot uh, diameter tires that uh, let uh, the vehicle ride up over rocks uh, and other hazards as well as climb. So we have a laser range finder that's measuring the distance to points uh, to the right of the vehicle so we get the shape of the terrain. We also have cameras that are measuring the appearance of the terrain to the right. We want to understand what is to the right because the vehicle may need to turn to the right in order to get out of trouble. The Crusher is not yet ready for delivery quite yet. In fact, it might be up to two years before troops see Crusher in the field. However, the work that Carnegie Mellon is doing with the help of the Army and DARPA could pay and completely clear the way for soldiers in the future. Petty Officer Andrew Krause, Pentagon Channel News.